before we can really take a dive into making responsive websites, the first thing that we need to do is take a bit of a deeper dive into CSS units, because there are many different types of units that we can use. We have absolute units, and this is what we've already been using. We have relative units, and we also have percentage, which is a bit of a special case. So absolute units, you've already seen these. This is the pixel. Uh, they're the easiest ones to understand because they're a fixed size and they're always the same size. We also have a whole bunch of other ones that you don't see come up too often. You have points, centimeters, millimeters, inches. Uh, if you can think of a unit that exists in the real world, it, you can use that unit in your designs. Now, the thing that's weird about those, ignoring pixels, we're just thinking of like the point, centimeter, millimeter, inch. If you put your like a ruler up on the screen, they're not really going to correspond to it. You shouldn't really be using them unless you're doing print styles. You can make a style sheet or a set of styles for a document to be printed. In that case, that's fine. But the rest of the time, if you need an absolute fixed unit, go with your pixel. We also have percentages. So percentages are mainly used for widths and they're pretty easy to understand because it's a percentage that's relative to the parent. Now, I said they're usually used for widths because on height, things get a little weird. Sometimes it's relative to the height of the parent. Sometimes it's actually relative to the width of the parent, but we're not setting heights very often. We're going to see some use cases later on in this course where we will be setting heights. But for now, we're going to be sticking with percentages for widths because that's usually where we're going to be using them. And it, it makes it really easy both to do something that's going to be like 80% of the whole browser window or if it's children, sometimes you want two columns. So one of them is 60% and one of them is 40% or 70% and 30%. And you know they're taking up the 100% total. So it's much easier than trying to calculate the actual pixel dimensions on things when you use percentages. The last type is relative units. And there are two different types of relative units. There's units that are relative to font sizes and there's units that are relative to the viewport. So the viewport is your browser window. In this starting to think responsibly, we're not going to get into the viewport unit. We're going to focus on the ones that are relative to font size because they're used so much more. The viewport units have special cases. They are definitely used in some situations and we are going to look at them in this course, just not in this module. Um, now, the idea of having units that are relative to font size, it might sound a little bit complicated, but once you start playing around with them, it's really not that bad. So as I said, we're only going to be paying attention to the ones that are relative to font size for now and not the viewport units. So the two units we're going to be seeing are M and REM. There are actually other ones as well. You have a CH unit and some others, but we're not going to get into them for now. We're going to focus on the M and the REM because these are the ones that are used the most often. Uh, the viewport units, just so you know them, we have the VW, VH, Vmin, Vmax. They stand for the viewport width and height, and then the viewport minimum or maximum, which those ones are weird, and <laughs> they they have specific use cases, but the VW and VH are pretty handy. We're gonna, As I said, we're not going to get to them in this module, though. So that's it for our quick introduction into the different units. In the next one, we're going to get our hands dirty with a little bit of code. And since we've already been using pixels, and which is an absolute unit a lot, we're going to take a dive in the next video and look at how percentages work and get our hands dirty with a layout.